A special shout out to Reggie Ford, uh, Mr. Pragmatic, Mike Harrison, Clifford Henry, and my guy, D-Town Boxing. Thank you all very much for making a contribution uh, through the Super Thanks on this channel. Thank you so much. Representing the business of boxing, ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for manager, Marty. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're far too kind. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. Today, we're going to deal with some uh, misunderstandings and or misinterpretation of the fact that Terrence Buck Crawford is a super champion because people were in my comments section um, and even some people did reach out to me uh, via other correspondences uh, basically telling me that because Terrence Buck Crawford is a super champion, that nine month rule doesn't apply to him. And it didn't matter if he fought David Ebenezer uh, literally 13 months after because anytime a WBO champion or super champion in Terrence Bob Crawford's case defend his title, it can be extended uh, past the nine month period all the way up until 18 months of defending the title against a mandatory. So I wanted to clear that up. And we're going to do that right now together by exploring the rules and regulations of the WBO, which of course is the World Boxing Organization Regulations of World Championship Contest. And we're going to go to section 14, super champions, okay? Now, let us understand that um, there's so many different criterias for the super champion to be crowned a super champion. And we're going to deal with just one privilege afforded to the super champion. Come on, class, read with me. Those fighters recommended by the championship committee and approved by the executive committee qualify for the following rights and privileges. Now, we're only going to deal with just part one, okay? Just part one of this special privileges afforded to super champions. And it reads these words. Come on, class, read it with me. The championship committee may extend a super champion's mandatory title defense for good cause shown one or more times beyond the time provided for in the WBO regulations for world championship contests for the purpose of giving a super champion opportunity or opportunities to unify the titles of one excuse me, to unify the titles of more than one major sanctioning body, either in a unification bout or a unification tournament or any other important match or matches that the committee determines would contribute to the super champion's legacy or would be of great interest to boxing fans, okay? Now, that's the special privilege that's afforded to a super champ. I have a question. Let's play a game called yes or no. I have a question. Did you see or hear anything in part one of the extension of mandatory title defense that said anything about 18 months? Yes or no? Okay, now, so now we got that understanding established that there's nothing in 
the WBO regulations that states anything about a mandatory title defense afforded as a privilege to super champions in their sanctioning body to fight a guaranteed 18 months, which is an extra nine months on top of the nine months that's already afforded to all world champions under the sanctioning body, right? So now that we've established that, we have to dispel the myth, okay? Now, now according to what we just read, okay, and what we just heard as we were reading it aloud, um, the organization, so to speak, they are the ones who make the determination, okay? Not the fans, not a promoter, not a fighter. Everyone still have to go through the committees involved, the executive committees and the championship committees, right? And both committees have to adhere in reference to what? The WBO regulations, okay? <clears throat> I have another yes or no question in this game called yes or no. Do y'all recall hearing and seeing in these same regulations that we just read that talked about the only times that it is a privilege afforded to a super champion to extend the title defense of that super champion uh, past the nine month period was for when or if the particular super champion Terrence Bar Crawford, that is, would basically be afforded or provided the opportunity, right, to compete in a championship contest for the purpose to unify the titles of more than one of the sanctioning bodies in a unification bout. Right? Yes or no? You heard that? Did you read that? Yes or no? Good. So your answer was yes. Now, did you read or hear me read a lot where it says that the committee determined, the committee determines that that contribution that this unification bout will have by the super champion will basically secure that super champion's legacy. And it would be a great interest to boxing fans. Did you hear that? Did you read that? I had it underlined if you didn't. <laughs> if you didn't read the whole thing. Right. Yes or no? Oh, so you did hear that. Okay, so you did read that. So I have another question. Didn't Terrence Buck Crawford say in numerous interviews, and you can check on the previous videos even on this channel, where he said himself, out of his own mouth, his words not mine, that he don't need to unify the titles in the welterweight division. He don't need to fight Errol Spence to unify the titles in the welterweight division because his legacy is already secure. Yes or no? Did you hear him say that? Yes, he did say that. Right. He said it. But the WBO regulations that you just agreed to saying that you read and heard, it says that the only reason why this super champion will have the privilege to be extended a greater uh, grace period than the nine month period that's in the regulations was to basically have the opportunity to unify the titles. You see how that's a contradiction? So that segues me, segue me into my next yes or no question. After Terrence Bar Crawford for Sean Porter, and obviously the time period was extended past the nine months to defend the title. <clears throat> and it was 13 months instead. Did he unify the titles? Yes or no? 
Oh, okay. He didn't. Hmm. He fought David Ebenezer, right? He did. Yes. Okay. That a violation or not? You see, a lot of the fans keep on saying that this 18 month, 18 month, he has an 18 month grace period to defend the title. But I just showed you in black and white in documentation. Nothing in the WBO regulations say that. And then my final question, let's pull it right back up. Doesn't it say here? Didn't you hear me read aloud that it says here? Committee determines would contribute to the super champion's legacy or watch this, ladies and gentlemen, members of the jury, or would be of great interest to boxing fans. Hmm. That's the criteria right there. So the super champion will have an opportunity to contribute to his legacy or it would be a great interest to boxing fans. For the super champion to unify the titles. Hmm. Yes or no question. Again. Did. The fans. The boxing fans. Stir up great interest. To see Terrence Bud Crawford. Fight David Ebenezer. Since he got the extension. Past the nine month period. That y'all keep talking about. Did he. Fight David Ebenezer. Y'all said yes. Good. Did that generate great interest from the boxing fans? No. And if you said yes, I have a challenge for you. If you just answered that last question and said yes, I have a quick challenge for you. Prove it. And this is a way that you could prove it. Produce the pay-per-view numbers. If what you're saying is that the fight against David Ebenezer drew great entrance of the boxing fans, then you have an obligation to prove that through the numbers. Remember I did a video on my channel, some of y'all, that said, men lie, women lie, Numbers don't. So produce the numbers and let the numbers from the pay-per-view buys speak to that question. If you answer yes to that last question. 